What's going on, man? Xavier Porter, Brooklyn Fight, Shoot the Five. You already know what it is. Let's just get right into it. Let's just get right at it. So, tomorrow night, live and direct, Madison Square Garden. We got the WBA, the undefeated WBA welterweight, excuse me, WBO welterweight champion, Terrence Crawford, out of Omaha, Nebraska, taking on the, the Mean Machine or Mean Green Machine. I uh, can't really pronounce his name. He's from, I think, Lithuania or something like that. You know what I mean? Anyway, what can I say? Tomorrow night is going to be a crazy card. It's stacked to the fullest. You got Mick, Mick Collin, a.k.a. Michael Collin, taking on Vladimir Nikitin. This is a fight that, you know, both of the guys have bad blood from the Olympics in 2016. Um, I spoke with Colin earlier this week. Colin was like, you know, they cheated him out the win. So now Colin is back. He's ready to go. He's ready to get that victory. Both men are undefeated in the professional ranks. There's a lot of bad blood here. So I would definitely anticipate that this fight is going to be a phenomenal one. Also on the card in the co-main event. I'm going to get back to the main event also. But the co-main event. Richard Comey. Ghanaian. Ghanaian. I'm going to hopefully get it correct. Ghanaian, IBF lightweight champion, taking on the hot prospect, undefeated Teofima Lopez. Exciting bout, exciting matchup, 50-50 fight for both men. Um, as we all know, Teofima Lopez, he's a young, talented fighter, possesses good speed, good, good athleticism, definitely has good power. Loves to go for the knockout. Loves to put on exciting performances. Loves to make, make the fans enjoy themselves. He, 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 he loves to box. He knows that boxing, for him, is, is a sport of entertainment. Richard Comey, however, is like a working horse. He's like the blue-collar type of fighter. He's not here to play around. Richard Comey is here to defend his title in the biggest, well, the mecca of boxing, which is Madison Square Garden. He's a, he's a world champion from Ghana. And we all know how world champions from Ghana fight. Azuma Nelson, Ike Corte, and so on. Joshua Claudia, and so on. Richard Comey is not here to lay down. Richard Comey is here to hold on to his belt for as long as he can in hopes of getting a unification bout against Vasil Lomachenko. Just like um, Lopez. He wants that unification bout with Lomachenko also. With that being said, we also got Noel Murphy taking on Josue Vargas. Now, both of these guys, I repeat, both of these guys are former sparring partners from the Bronx. I remember the days where I used to go to the to the gym and see their sparring matches at um, Worldwide Boxing Gym in the Bronx. And it's amazing to see that both of them now, as professionals, they're both southpaws and they're taking on each other. Uh, I, believe, I believe Murphy might have two losses on his record. Josue has won because he was disqualified from an illegal punch when he was signed with Mayweather Promotions. And um, I guess the guy he hit couldn't continue. He was disqualified from that. Disqualified from that. But ever since then, Jose's been on, Josue has been on a tear. He's been, he's been defeating all opponents thus far. Noel Murphy, tough Irishman, always known to come in the fight. He's always known to be prepared, and he's always known to come and bring, the, bring his best. So I anticipate a really good fight between Noel Murphy as well as Jose Vargas. I anticipate a great fight between Michael Collin and Vladimir Nikitin. I expect a great fight between Richard Comey and Teofima Lopez. And then also, Terrence Bud Crawford. What more can you say about Terrence Bud Crawford? Honestly, what more can you say? Bud Crawford is one of the best all-around boxers in the game. Three division world champion, former undisputed super lightweight junior welterweight champion, 140 pound. First fight out the back, or sec I don't know, first fight, second fight when he moved up to welterweight, beat Jeff Horn, snatched up the WBO welterweight title. Everybody wants to see him fight all the guys on the other side of the block, as they say, on the other side of the street. The likes of Errol Spence, the likes of Sean Porter, Keith Thurman, Manny Pacquiao. It's been a lot. It's been a lot said that you know, Manny Pacquiao ducked him, didn't want to fight him. 
I do recall Bob Arum saying at one point in time he didn't want Manny Pacquiao to fight Bud because he probably knew Bud would whip that ass. You know what I mean? He probably knew Bud would touch him up. He probably knew Bud would knock him out because Bud's timing is phenomenal. One thing about Terrence Crawford is timing is superb. You know what I mean? He's, he's, he's fundamentally sound. He's smart. He's, he's slick. Very intelligent. And he's the guy that just loves to fight, man. Bud has a mean streak in him, man. He he's a um he's what I call I wouldn't call him a poker face, but he's definitely hard to read. Because because when you look at Bud, he has this he has this thing about him, like it's like you don't know if he's mad at you or if he's just thinking or or, or he's just thinking mean thoughts. <laughs> And when he gets in that ring, it all comes out. He puts on he puts on great performances each and every time he fights. That's why he's ranked number one in the world, per se. He's that good. Against Mean Machine, there's a lot to say about this guy. The last time I seen Mean Machine fight, he fought Ray Robinson to a draw. Didn't really show me nothing. You know what I'm saying? He got a pretty good jab, but he didn't really show me. He didn't really show me that he would be able to withstand the onslaught or even last against the likes of a Terrence Crawford. No disrespect to Ray Robinson. That's my guy right there. Um, but in fighting Terrence Crawford, you are fighting a different type of fighter, a different caliber fighter, a level of skill per se. Um, I would love to see how, I, well, I am going to see how the Mean Machine is going to come out. I believe the fight ain't going to last but a six or seven rounds. I think Butter figure him out after the second round. Start chopping them up. Start wailing on them. Start hitting them with these long range shots. Definitely go to the body. A lot of people don't understand. Bud is strong. Like he, people, Bud ain't got these. He don't have the one hitter quitter. I'm, you know, I'm gonna just snuff you and knock you out type of power. But he got this. He got this. The way he punches and breaks you down, you be like, damn, he cracking you. And then he got any hits you solid to the body. And his uppercuts. He has like one of the best uppercuts in the game in boxing. I would say outside of him. Anthony Joshua got a pretty good uppercut as well. Outside of him, Anthony Joshua and Jamal Charlo, they got some really good uppercuts, man. They know how to like really, really pinpoint and land that uppercut. I like it. I like the uppercuts. And, and, and Tank got a pretty good uppercut as well, you know. So, but with that being said, the winner against Comey and Lopez, they get the unification with um with Lomachenko sometime maybe. In March, April, but Crawford, I don't know what happens after if if he wins. Where does he go? Because all he can do is fight the people that's put in front of him. Those are those are his words, not mine, quote unquote. All I can do is fight the people they put in front of me. Now I can call out this person, I can call out that person, but all I can do is fight the person that they put in front of me. So really, it's on Bob Arum to 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 do what he got to do, and try to get the these huge fights that people feel like. Would be the defining, the the defining, the defining opponents on his resume, but it's fought a lot of guys. He's fought a lot of guys. Amir Khan. He's fought um. Amir Khan, <laughs> Ricky Burns, Jeff Horn. He's fought a lot of guys, man. Um, and I know there's some people out there. I'm 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 leaving out. I'm leaving out at 140. However, you know, the other guys at 140, I mean, at, one, at, at um, 147, I fought, have, their resumes are pretty solid, too. Like, Danny Garcia got a solid resume. You know what I mean? Sean Porter got a solid resume. Errol Spence, Keith Thurman, Manny Pacquiao. Can't even compare Manny Pacquiao resume to anybody's. You know what I mean? But they all got solid resumes. So, you know, bug get past me, machine. Hopefully, hopefully... Whether his next opponent is a, if it's a mandatory fighter, that the WBO say, hey man, you got to fight that guy to defend your title, or maybe it'll be against one of these supposedly great welterweights that people are um, are not fighting per se because they're on the other side, the the premier boxing champion side. Hopefully, with Bob Arum working things out with Tyson Fury to face Deontay Wilder. In um, February, hopefully he can do the same thing 
with Bud fighting one of these other world tour champions um, with the death side to PBC. Let me know your thoughts, Xavier Porter, Brooklyn Fights. I'll be at the fight tomorrow. I'm going to holler at y'all, man. Tomorrow's going to be a really good night. Hope y'all enjoy it. Peace.